Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're working on a weight tracker. So we're going to have a system where a user makes an account, they can add their weight over time and keep track of that. An interesting thing with this is we have maybe a user preference between metric and imperial. So we'll have to do a conversion there. Let's start looking at the database. We have a user collection with the default things here and I've also added um, a, a true false for metric um, which you can see on the home page there. Um, we're also probably going to want a number for their weight in kilograms and also a number property for their weight in pounds. Um, so what I plan to do is keep both figures simultaneously have both uh, kilograms and pounds available to use. Then we have the weight collection. We're going to need um, weight, um, again kilograms and pounds. A dollar is going to automatically store the date created so I don't think we need a property extra for that but we will want a relationship with users. A user can have multiple weights like that Okay, um, so that is the basics of the database for now. Let's go back to the home uh, screen. Here a user can select this check uh, toggle and that will toggle logged in user metric. Do they want metric or not? Okay, so let's uh, get to the point where now they can add a weight. So. I'm just going to have first a list which is a list of weights um, and subtitle can be the create date and the title can be um, the weight uh, kilograms and pounds. So whatever we have there we're going to have a list of weights. So let's make a button for a new screen which is um, create weight. Um, so this is going to be add a new weight. Um, add action link new screen. This new screen can be a form and um, it will be a collection of weights and it will create a new weight. We don't really care about the name. Um, mm, okay, of course we need to change this. Okay, so um, we're, we're going to need two screens here. If we're going to use a form we'll need two screens. Um, so let's do it like this. Um, first I'll copy and paste the screens, we've got two of them. So we'll have screen um, metric and screen imperial. And the user will be directed to either screen depending on their preference for metric. Um, so on the metric screen we do not want a pounds field and on the imperial field the imperial screen we don't want the kilograms field. Um, now how are we going to get the user to go to one of them? Let's add a blank screen. Um, so instead of going straight to the um, screen here, link new screen. Blank screen. And we will use this screen as a redirect. Um, so let's put it in order. Okay. Action. When a user visits the screen, it will link to, um, oh wow, I can't spell imperial. <laughs> so it will link to imperial, uh, show advanced. When does this action happen? Sometimes. It will only happen if um, locked in user metric is false. So um 
right yep so it will go to the imperial screen if they don't have this preference for metric and then we can do another action link to the metric screen uh, show advanced sometimes it will only happen if the logged in user metric is true right so now we they should be going to the correct screen and it will be updating the correct property um, so what we need next is this will do the kilograms and that is great it's going to create the weight um, but um, we're going to go to um, another blank screen uh, metric calc I'm going to call it and this one can go to a new screen called imperial calc I'm going to use these screens to update the um, to do the conversion between metric and imperial really simple so uh, the submit submit button is now let's get rid of that link saying back we do not want that and same here w yeah that's fine okay so imagine they are metric people they've entered their kilograms and they go to this calculation page so we need an action update um, logged in user um, and where are we okay so we've already got that kilograms recorded so it's going to be the logged in user kilograms um, and to convert that um, kilograms into pounds we'll times by 2.20462 and that should be the conversion. Bear in mind this pounds and the kilograms property are both numbers. If it's not a numbers property you can't do formula so it's important that you made these as number properties not text. So there we go that will do the user uh, weight but also we want to update the current weight um, because we not only are we are updating the user's most recent weight uh, we're also um, doing the weights over time. Right, so current weight is going to be kilograms times 2.20462. Right, done. And once we've done that, let's link back to the home page. Okay, um, the other one is the imperial calculation here. We're going to update the user. Um, that's the weight. So let's start with the user. Update logged in user. Right, so we've got the pounds but not the kilograms. So um, we're going to um, do pounds times by 0 0.4535592. I think it's four five three five nine two. That is the conversion we need. okay so that will give our metric calculation for the user now let's do it for the current weight um, so current weight uh, pounds right that should all be working and then link back to the home page Um, so let's try this out. I think I've got everything. I've already created a user so we don't have to sign up on the video. Right, so there is a list here but there's nothing on it. Um, so let's try, um, we have not ticked metric so we assume we're at imperial. And it takes us to pounds, so let's say 100 pounds create weight it takes us to a blank screen and then it should redirect us back home and we there we go right and look straight away we've got a hundred pounds and our conversion there um, so let's try again but now we like metric so let's enter let's say a hundred kilograms and create a weight I 
should have two records there we go and that has done our conversion for us um, really quite simple and yeah that's the basics of it let's see maybe we also want to add a button and we want a nice way to display some data um, we're going to try a graph so let's do a button which links to a blank screen create screen and let's call this one um, graph um, we're going to add a component uh, and we will use the um, let's try the bar chart okay this is a chart of weights um, current user weights um, so on the x-axis we've got the weight name we don't really want that we want the I would say the date we want when it was created um, and then on the y-axis is going to be the number um, current weight let's stick to kilograms on this one um, right so hopefully it's as um, simple as that uh, create a date let's do oldest to newest okay and let's add a back arrow as an icon up here so that we don't get stuck right so um, I've not tried this before let's see if it's working okay so hopefully we will get a bar chart uh, with the two weights that we've already added um, so let's go to the graph area there we go so we had one weight we added three minutes ago one we added two minutes ago um, the only thing is here yeah that's correct so this is giving us kilograms because on that first weight um, it, it was a hundred pounds which you'd expect is 45 kilograms around there and then we did a hundred kilograms so some quite rapid weight gain okay um, now what we could do is change the bit visibility this one is kilograms so we could have sometimes visible if logged in user metric is true okay now that will only appear um, for people who are working with metric I'm going to copy and paste this graph control C control V and uh, with the second one have is false and we're going to change the Y axis value to pounds so now we have two graphs on this page that will appear depending um, on the user's preference so let's try this again graph um, so okay the um, it's um, when you set some components on top of each other you get problems with the layout uh, things go a bit mad so let me just separate these properly and we shouldn't get any problems so let's try again okay I don't know why there's only one result though there should be two uh, there we go I, it is working we do have two results there um, so let's change our settings to imperial by unticking metric go back and we'll have the bottom graph we should have the bottom graph okay so we unticked metric graph oh okay no this is imperial but it's shifted to the top okay great um, and now let's try imperial again um, and you can see here uh, this is the um, imperial now there is this, um, something weird going on but I think it might just be a delay and also we're seeing um, it doesn't matter which setting we have the graph is shifting to the top okay um, but I think um, you can see the main 
idea of what we're doing and let's just have a quick look at the database make sure all our records make sense we made our weights the conversion worked correctly um, and we managed to make a little uh, graph showing our progress I think this is going to be really useful for some of the apps people are making out there so I hope you enjoyed the video and any questions let me know please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it see you next time take care guys bye bye